From across Maryland, Virginia, and the district, this is Washington's 24-hour local news leader. News Channel 8's Live This Morning starts right now. January is Thyroid Awareness Month. Estimated 25 million Americans have some sort of thyroid disease, but half of them have yet to be diagnosed. Dr. Val Jones joins us live this morning here in the studio to explain why so many people have this disease but don't know about it. Uh, full disclosure here, I am hypothyroid. That means my thyroid doesn't make enough uh, of the... Uh, 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 the thyroid hormone. The hormone, thank yeah. you. It was the word I was searching for and not coming up with, as it's supposed to. I would have never known this if I hadn't d had blood work done, which showed one value way out of line. They yep. went back in and tested it again and determined that, yes, in fact, there's a problem here. And I, my guess is that's most people who don't know what's going on with their thyroid. Well, Dave, you're certainly not the poster child for hypothyroidism, uh, which is exactly the point. Uh, the reason why thyroid disease is often not diagnosed is because the symptoms are either vague mm -hmm. or weird. <laughs> and and the thing that, that it, I find interesting too, there are, there are two kinds of, of thyroid disease. One is the thyroid produces too much of that hormone, That's hyperthyroidism or hypothyroid when it isn't enough. And you look at the, the symptoms for both and they could be either one, it seems. I mean, it is possible for you to have, to be hypothyroid and have symptoms of hyperthyroidism. So it, it's, it's confusing at best. It is confusing. Well, the thyroid gland is located in the neck and it's responsible for controlling your metabolism. So everything from your heart rate, your blood pressure, your body temperature, and your weight. So when these things get off kilter, the symptoms you have are either fatigue, weight gain, perhaps depression if you don't have enough thyroid hormone. And on the flip side, if you have too much, then you get a racing heart, you get anxious, you get sweaty. Uh, and those are things that people don't associate yeah. with their neck. <laughs> no, it's true. And, and, and there are other things beyond that. Your hair can get sort of brittle and dry, your, your skin, things that, that you wouldn't immediately associate with a, a, a medical condition. Oh, well, you know, maybe it's, it's winter, I dry out a little bit anyway, yeah. so you, you wouldn't think there's a problem. I guess what this says is more people need to be tested. It's a, rel it's a simple blood test. It's part of a, a fairly routine screening thing. You yeah. just need to have it done. Absolutely. It's easy to do and it's easy to diagnose and the best of all, it's easy to treat. That's the, <laughs> so many times we talk about things that, that, that have uh, dire consequences. Well, this can have dire consequences, but the maintenance for it is I take a, a pill every morning. It's not a problem for me and that's the case if, for hyperthyroidism as well. It, well, not at first, perhaps. Yes. You know, you have to treat the uh, overactive thyroid with some radiated radiation uh, from radiated iodine, and then after that, you replace it. Right. So it's a little more complicated, but yeah. Again, we have there are there are treatments though available out there. There are there very good treatments that, that that can make this better. And did you know that carpal tunnel syndrome has to do with your thyroid as well? Isn't that shocking? No, no. There's something I, I it <laughs> everyone thinks realize. it has to do with them yes. typing, but in a lot of cases, uh, the person is actually hypothyroid. And the reason why is that hmm. people with hypothyroidism tend to retain water, and your wrists are uh, very sensitive to swelling. So if you retain water, it squeezes the little nerve that's going through your wrist, <laughs> and you get the numbness and tingling. So if you have carpal tunnel, it could be thyroid. It's worth having the thyroid checked as well. Maybe it's something we all should be doing anyway. Val Jones, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. She Thanks, joins Dave. us uh, from Better Health. She's the CEO, in fact, of Better Health, and we like to have her come and, and put some perspective on medical conditions and situations. Thanks, Thanks. Dave. Good to see you again. And uh, if you need more information, getbetterhealth.com, a really good resource for a broad spectrum of information. We're going to step away for just a bit. Stay with us though. News continues here on News Channel 8 right after this.